Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vanilla Raccoon, and welcome to a Minecraft transformation video. Because in this one, we are going to be transforming a single crop farm that you would find within a retired plains village biome. And I would like to say that because upon the recording of this video at least, the plains villages have gotten an overhaul in regards to how each of the builds look. And if I remember correctly... The crop farms don't really look like this anymore, at least I don't think they do. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the snapshot that we're currently playing in before we get our build on, and that is 18W49A. So as always, some of the stuff that is currently in this game, in this version of the game, may not be available down the line. But with that being said, at least let's go ahead and get our build on. The first thing that I would like to mention is that I decided to use the normal oak logs that we have right here going across the bottom of the farm. And then I have these at least going horizontal and then the corner pieces are going vertical and on top right here I do have the bark block and then I went ahead and counted three out so that way I can place another one and let it be in between these two. As for this side at least I wanted to make sure that I had another bark block in the middle of these two bark blocks on the corner so I just went one two three four one two three and then one two three on the fences there one two three on the fences there and you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. Now to make getting across the far Farm a bit easier I went ahead and just took my oak trap doors and placed them down right down like this and also in the event that I need to get a source of water I could just go ahead and quickly open it up scoop some water out into a bucket close it and then be on my merry little way so let's go ahead and actually begin to get our build on for real so what I'm going to do is begin to place down the corner pieces as you see right here then I'm going to go ahead and take those oak logs and place them down horizontally so that we have something that will look like this. I'm just going to quickly fly up so you can get a better look of it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and begin to take my oak logs once more. And I'm going to go ahead and begin to create the frame for the house just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and begin to place down the walls. This is going to be a little doorway, so we're just going to leave that space open. We're going to continue to do this, but then we're going to take our stripped oak bark block and place it down right there because as you can tell, there's going to be a nice little window for us to look out into the world and see through. Then we're going to do the exact same thing over here, and then you should have something that will look like that. Over here, we're going to have another doorway as if it wasn't obvious enough. So we're just going to do what we did over there, over here. Now, in regard to the flooring, I like to take these stripped oak logs and place them down horizontally and I just go ahead and do something like that but if you want to get crazy and mix it up as well and swap the arrangements then feel free to do so as well actually you know what that looks pretty cool so I'm just going to leave it as it is and for the most part that's going to have to do it for the first phase moving on to the second phase this is where we're going to go ahead and begin to work on the roof so what I do on this side I'm going to do all over the place and I think I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little cut after I do so so that way I'm not taking up your time and if you would like to go ahead and watch another one of my videos after this then at least you can go ahead and do so so what I'm going to do right here for real quick is I'm going to place down an oak stair going like this and then actually we want to remove those stairs because that's going to interfere with part of the build later on and then right here in this open space I want to go ahead and just take these logs and place them down horizontally as you see right here so before i go ahead and go and take that quick cut i'm actually going to go ahead and just place an inverted cobblestone stair right there and then let me go ahead and finish off this roof and i'll show you what it's going to look like so as i do a quick flyby you can see that i went ahead and did everything towards the end of the previous clip and did just that and also i see a little oops let's go ahead and just swap out these stairs for the slabs i i'm kind of at the point now where i'm used to placing stairs as a touch of detail underneath the overhang but i'm trying to change it up by placing down slabs so that way we have some detail but not a lot of it and so now what i'm going to do to finish off the roof with you guys and i'm just going to go ahead and begin to place these oak stairs down just as you see right here and normally what i would do is connect them with another stair but in this case i'm just going to go ahead and place a plank down just to give it a little bit of a nudge that's going to be sticking out and i think it's a nice little subtle touch of detail as well and then from here all i'm going to do is just take my logs place them down like this and then leave this open space in the center you're going to see why in just a little bit and then i'm going to go ahead and place down a normal stair facing inwards and i'm going to go ahead and just oops place these slabs in front of them and then let's go ahead and do this and actually no and for this build i'm not going to place any slabs down 
in front of the stairs. Instead, we're just going to continue the roof going upwards, but then it's only going to be by half a block with the slabs. And then from there, that is what the roof is going to look like. I'm just going to fly around once more so you guys can see what it's going to look like. So in case maybe you made an oops as well, then you know where you went wrong and you can quickly fix that. For the third phase, all you're going to do is just take two cobblestone blocks, place them right there, and then place a stair in front of it. Right here in this open space, you're gonna just place some slabs and then in front of them, you can place your stairs. Then like what you did on the other side, you're just gonna take two cobblestone blocks, place a cobblestone stair in front of it. And then right here at least to add some type of a wall, you can go ahead and place down two cobblestone blocks. Now for this build, I am actually not going to place two cobblestone blocks over here. But if you would like to have a little bit of symmetry within the build, then feel free to do so. However, for the next phase, we are gonna wanna leave this open space open. Wait, no, we're going to want to remove this fence post, so I guess actually no, you could just place down two cobblestone blocks there. Anyways, on to the next phase. The fourth and final phase for this is going to be working on the interior decorating. Now, I would like to mention that I am not the best at this, so if you think what I'm doing here is not good for you then feel free to let me know down below in the comment section and take a screenshot of what you've done to improve this build and share it with me in my discord server which a link to that can be found right beneath the like and subscribe button of every video that i upload now when i come up with these designs these transformations these let's builds i try to bear in mind that some people watching this video may not have end game items or access to end game items maybe they're strictly playing in survival and not cheating so if you don't want to place an ender chest down right here then you don't have to but if you do have access to one then feel free to place it down right there because in this corner we're going to have a double chest we're going to remove that one stripped oak log and in its place place down our crafting chest table on top of it we're going to place a fence gate we're going to prop it open so that way we can place a trap door on top of it so it acts as a nice little table of some sorts and then we're going to go ahead and just quickly place a fence post right in here so that way it has some form of realism to it so there's not just an empty space that's leaving these logs hanging up there it's actually connecting them and adding a little bit of support into the roof as well. And then we're gonna just step outside here. We're gonna come around through here and we're gonna remove this one fence post and then in its place, place down a cauldron. So that way, when it rains in your world, it will actually gather up some water that you can use to either brew some potions or maybe use it to create some type of water source for other crop farms or anything else that you may need in your world. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, towards the end of these let's build slash transformation videos, I like to go ahead and take a moment to create some some type of a scene for the build so that way it provides more of an example as to what the purpose of it is going to be used for so let me go ahead and just do that real quick and when i bring it back i'll showcase it and then we can end this video okay so i may have done it a little too much in regards to placing the new berry bushes but i'll leave it to you to let me know if I did because I kind of just went crazy with placing them around. I'm so excited that we now have berry bushes in Minecraft because they remind me of one of the mods that we had in the Builders Bundle mod pack that was made from the Division SMP which I was a member of for those of you who don't know and I really miss the Division SMP. It's a shame that we had to close it but it is what it is. I guess all good things happen for a reason. But with that being said, at least, this is what I've done. I've just recreated a small plains biome. So not only is this a let's build video slash transformation video, but this is also, I guess you could say, a biome based video because come to think of it, we pretty much built everything out of oak wooden materials. And that's pretty cool. So that's not two birds, one stone. That's three birds one stone now you may notice that we do have two piggy wigs within the farm area i decided to not place down so many pigs instead i just went ahead and spawned one pig and i'm going to name him farmer hoggett both intended to be a reference to the movie babe and also a pun because it's a hog or pig farmer hoggett get it and then also we have a baby pig that is supposed to be babe which, in case you didn't know, is one of my favorite movies because Piggy Wigs are my favorite mobs in Minecraft. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to have to do it for this video. Now, I would like to mention that if you recreate this within your own single player world, 
or even on a realm slash server that you play on, then feel free to take a screenshot of it and send it to me over in my Discord server because I'd really be happy to see what you guys do with these builds as I continue to make them and you guys seem to like them and share them with your peeps. So I'm just curious to see what you guys do with them and also how they fit so nicely within your world. But if you are... But if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. It lets me know that you look forward to seeing more content like this. And if you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing for more Minecraft Let's Build, Minecraft Transformation videos, along with Minecraft Survival Let's Plays, and the occasional Pokemon Go short film. Now, like I've mentioned enough times already in this video, I do have a Discord server, so if you would like to join it and chat with me along with the community, then feel free to do so. But if Discord is not your thing and you, want, and you at least want to stay up to date with the latest announcements, news, and updates regarding the channel along with my everyday life, then feel free to follow me on Twitter at Vanilla Raccoon. Now, if you are getting some value out of... The pigs are making a run for it. Okay then. Now, if you're getting some value out of this channel or these these videos, then feel free to poke your friend in the arm and tell them about the channel because that way then they can get some value out of it as well and then the community can continue to grow. But with all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vanilla Raccoon. You guys have been awesome. I would like to wish you a happy day and peace out.